Wednesday. Welcome to today's episode of Refresh, our daily live morning show that only brings you the most positive, the most uplifting, the most inspirational videos from around the web. My name is Cassie. I'm an editor here at Little Things, and joining me today is a very, very special guest, our talented singer, songwriter friend, Marie Miller. Now, she is going to be joining us as we watch our top six countdown of the day, but at the end, she is going to be treating us to one of her beautiful songs, so please be sure to stick around for that. But first, and thank you for joining us. I'm so excited. It's great to be I'm here. So this is so fun. Yay! I'm never going to leave, though. No, please, it's don't. Comfy. No, you live here now. No, <laughs> she's ours. Uh, okay, <laughs> so we're getting right to our top six countdown of the day. Starting with video number six, we have a young couple who stumbles across a very strange box at the beach. Let's take a look. All right, so this couple is Tiffany and Darren, and you can see that they're dressed to the nines, which mm -hmm. is a little odd for the beach, but you'll okay. we'll soon see why. So it's a normal stroll, very choppy water though. Yeah, yeah like I like the fishermen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just a good day at the beach. But then they see a box that says free puppy on it, uh -huh. and of course you can't resist that. So Tiffany immediately goes to open it up, and what does she see inside? <laughs> I think there is a puppy, but suddenly Darren is down on one knee. <laughs> there is a puppy, it is confirmed. But it looks like a surprise proposal on the beach. <laughs> Kids running around the beach. What a yeah. beautiful day for this. I this know, is that's like amazing. perfect. Free yeah, puppy. free puppy. <laughs> As if she needed more incentive. <laughs> oh, but now, yeah, now you understand the khakis, the blazer. This is oh. why he had a big, big surprise planned. Cameraman in the in the seagrass. It but seems like there. she said yes. I think she said yeah, yes. I think, I think yes. she did. <laughs> but this is the true moment. Of, of joy. <laughs> there is a dog. <laughs> this just in, there is a puppy inside. So what a day. You get a puppy, you get a ring, you get a future together. It's uh, it's perfect. The perfect proposal. That's really cute. Yeah, it's really, really cute. Family and friends are there. It's just amazing. What He did a great job. Mm -hmm. Well done, Darren. <laughs> so overjoyed. <laughs> Ugh. All right, guys, video number five in our countdowns. So we have a graduating senior who begs the crowd to pray with him during a scary medical emergency. Let's take a look. Everybody, can I have your attention real quick? We don't know what's going on, but we will pray. We know that prayer is power and that God is able. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for this day, Lord. We pray right now that whatever is going on, that you would fix it. God, we pray that you will heal it, God. We pray that you will redeem it, God. We pray that you will deliver it, God, because we know that you are a God who knows how to make a way. And in the name of Jesus, we declare and decree in the name of Jesus that whatever is going on shall be fixed. Because you are a God who is a fixer. You are a God who is a healer. Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nisus, Jehovah Shiloh. Fix it, Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. That is a high schooler. A high schooler. He's what, 17, 18 years old? That's amazing. Now, uh, before we continue with our top six countdown, me and Marie are going to take a quick break. With our top six countdown, now video number four, uh, we have an incredible rescue video that proves just how powerful a mother's love is no matter what the species. Let's take a look. Now this, this is pretty incredible. So this is a, um, at an elephant nature reserve, I believe. And this little baby got himself stuck <laughs> in a mud hole. <laughs> Somehow this little guy fell in. <laughs> yeah, this is Elephant Trust. They do wonderful work for elephants. Really important to, you know, preserve them and, and keep them safe. Um, their numbers are threatened in the wild, but they rush to the scene. This little baby cannot, <laughs> cannot get out of this hole. Now watch how carefully, now mind you, Mama is in the distance watching very carefully. Uh, so they gotta do this quick. So they, I mean, uh, just a huge group of caring people rush out, doing everything they can to get this little baby out. It's not very deep, <laughs> but you know, for a little baby elephant, that's pretty scary. That's pretty tough, yeah. So they are in the mud with this little baby. We've got some kind of strap. Because I, I don't know how do you know how big a baby elephant is? Probably a couple hundred pounds, right? I would imagine. You know, like two hundred pounds? <laughs> they're, they're big little guys, you know? So they're all wrapping up. Here we are to get them out. Oh, he must be so scared. 
Okay, they've got him over the ledge. Lifted him out. Now they know as soon as they get the baby to safety, they have got to get out of there. Because mama's gonna be coming. But I think that she knows that the humans are helping because she's kind of, she's not around. She's, she's letting them help. But the baby is out. <laughs> a little mud, mud and muddy, a little worse for the wear, but he's okay. <laughs> They're leading the baby now out to the field where the mama can safely come. But she's been watching. Now the moment they, they reunite is really, really beautiful. But they've got to get in the car. <laughs> the mama's don't mess around. Baby's in danger. Tough mom is there to protect him. Okay, so we're getting him in the right position. Now watch what happens the second mom spots her baby. So they drive away. <laughs> they gotta get out of there. <laughs> but again, I think the elephants know that the humans are there protecting them, watching out for them. Now look at this. She is at the scene, rushing across. The planes yes. to be with her little baby. Why don't you go back into that hole? <laughs> I feel like that's, that's a baby for you. Right back to danger, but look at this. Wraps her, her trunk around. That's scary. It's a big mama. But I'm just so thankful that there are organizations like this who are protecting elephants. They're so important. They're so special. We need them around. Um, every animal has a place in, in, our, in, our, in our system, on, on our earth. So they are doing wonderful work, and we are so thankful. There they go, off Aww. into the sunset. Hopefully baby will avoid mud holes from now on. <laughs> Now, speaking of amazing rescue animals, uh, video number three, we have a rescue kitten who proves that sometimes all you need is just a warm bath. Let's take a look. All right, so we, we, <laughs> we've seen this little guy before, but we can't get enough. This is oh. Baby Clover. Okay. She was found in the driveway by a woman named Luna. Mm -hmm. We knew she had to take her in. <laughs> this is pretty much it. I mean, yep. we all enjoy it. Yeah. This is, you know, this. <laughs> She does, she's enjoying the she's bath. She's loving it. For sure. So there's nothing much going on here. Just a baby enjoying the little yeah. things. You know, just a warm, we all love warm baths. So with baby, the head totally tossed back. Paws, paws up in the air. I mean, sometimes there's nothing better in life. Just a nice relaxing bath. But don't worry, Luna tested the water. She made sure it was the right temperature. She made sure that Clover was, was good with water first, because not all cats are, you know. That's so. true. <laughs> Clover's into it. Clover though. is into it. Yeah. Clover is Definitely. loving it. <laughs> Oh man, amazing. Now video number two in our countdown is actually really important. It's a very important message. Um, it's a warning issued by police, uh, which is just in time for summer. Let's take a look. On Tuesday, officers with Florida's Pensacola Police Department had to smash a car window to rescue a puppy who had oh. been left in the sweltering heat. The department took to Facebook, posting photos of the incident and issuing a very clear warning. It read in part, if you leave your dog in a hot car, we will drive your pooch to the caring folks at the Escambia County Animal Shelter, and we will drop you off with the caring folks at the Escambia County Detention Facility. <laughs> you will both receive attention, food, and shelter, albeit different kinds. So don't. It's a really important message for summer. We know how hot it gets in cars. It can fry eggs in there, so just don't do it. Uh, now, before we watch our number one video of the day, we will be right back with this quick break. And here it is, the number one video. Are you excited? Are you Super so excited. excited? Okay, it is. If you've ever wondered why we wear our wedding rings on the fourth finger, we might have the answer for you. Let's take a look. Your index fingers are your siblings. Your middle fingers are you. And your ring fingers are your spouse. And your pinkies are your children. So play along. You do this at home. You try to put your thumbs separate, symbolizing that your parents will lead their own lives, your siblings will lead their own lives, kids will start their own lives. But what you can't separate is your ring fingers. Right? And that's so true. Because spouses are meant to be together for their whole lives. 
And so, oh, whoa, what whoa, is this? Whoa, really? whoa, where did this come whoa. from? <laughs> this is magic. <laughs> it's a magic mandolin. It is. It's a That's magical so mandolin. That's so exciting. It's beautiful. Thank you. So you, um, yeah, guys, this is Marie Miller. You know, she's been watching the videos with us. We're very fun. happy to have her here. So leave any questions or comments that you have for her as we go along. But um, I'm curious. So you've been writing music since you were 12. Mm -hmm. um, you signed a record deal when you were 16. Is that I right? I did, yeah. And your music has been featured on Dancing with the Stars. And now you have a new album called Letterbox. Mm -hmm. And so I was curious, why is it important to you that you share your your music? What do you hope that your music will do for the world? Right. Well, I think music is so powerful. I think that it can inspire and change. It, it has for me. Yeah. So many, um, you know, when you're going through your hardest times and your worst times, I feel like you have a soundtrack, right? Absolutely, yeah. And so I want to be part of those times for people and the way that music has helped me and changed me, I'd like to do the same. That's beautiful. That's wonderful. Now your new album is called Letterbox. Do um, do letters and mail have any special meaning for you? Yes, they do. So I'm very old school <laughs> and I write letters uh, and uh, to friends and and family members and just and I love receiving letters too. Yes, it's the best. Yes. Yeah, so uh, and this album I felt like was my letterbox on my collection of of letters, things that I wanted to say to people, maybe that I couldn't, and so I wrote a song, and so it's sort of that the the culmination of that. I love that. That's wonderful. Yeah, there is something very very special and magical about getting like a physical piece of mail we don't really get that anymore so, so I love sad. that yeah I love that you're old-fashioned I'm the same way <laughs> um, so I've, I've listened to and I really really enjoyed letterbox Thank and um, it, was, it was very like it has a kind of like a soothing rustic sound and it's like colors and it's exciting so when when one of your songs end what what feeling do you hope that people are left with mm. I think they're also different right right, right they um, were yeah yes yeah, so I think um, depending on the song you know but m never just like it's hopeless. I right. want that. <laughs> yeah. Always a little hope. You I think, need a little, a little takeaway. Yeah. <laughs> That's important. Yeah. Um, so I have, I have a fun little quiz for you mm -hmm. regarding oh. Letterbox. Are you ready? Yeah. It's very specific. Okay, so what is the best way to listen to your album Letterbox? Is it A, driving through cornfields at sunset with the windows down? Mm -hmm. Is it B, cuddled up with a cup of cocoa on a cold rainy Friday? Is it C, Folding a basket of laundry with a dog curled up beside you, or D, is it none of the, the above? And if so, what? how would you describe what is the best way to listen to your album? Wow, that's <laughs> such a cool question. And I'm like, I'm like imagining myself like driving I know, the they all I sound good. Hey, they all sound yeah. good. I feel like it's either A or C. Anyway, is it's, it the first? Yeah, driving the, through the cornfields corn or, or laundry. laundry. Yeah, I, that's that's my favorite thing. Just when, you yeah. know, those moments when you're alone and you're you, you're just in a place, you're in a special place, yeah. just with your music. That's, yeah, that's perfect. I think, I think both those ring true. I love that. <laughs> So now I've done some research and it seems that you are a bit of a bookworm, perhaps, I am, is that yes. right? So you draw inspiration from Wuthering Heights, you said The Iliad, mm -hmm. This Side of Paradise, Lord of the Rings, Anna Karenina, the list goes on. So do you find that books and music are similar in any way? For you? Yes, definitely. Yeah. I think um, they become your friends, you know, oh, songs yeah. and, and books and so and those characters that I have read about, yeah, really are a part of my story, I think. Yeah. I think that's the way that songs can be, too. Yeah, I, I definitely agree. Um, is there any book that you've read so many times that you've nearly destroyed? <laughs> Um, you know, I've been reading, I've read Great Gatsby a lot. Yeah, that's yeah, it. And To Kill a Mockingbird a lot. Yeah. Um, I, uh, let's see, yeah, the, my favorite is, are, this is the Russian uh, writers, or the Russian writers, but... That's tough. That's it's hard to do that. <laughs> that's you a hard read. read. That book. Yeah. yeah. Like, I'm really proud of myself because I've read Anna Karenina uh, Yeah, twice. yeah. So I'm very impressed. That's amazing. <laughs> no, I'm very impressed. I've never, I'm like just now getting to Little Women, so good yes, for you. Little Women is great. The best. It's amazing. So good. So good. <laughs> so if people wanted to listen to or download Letterboxd, where should they do that? They can do that on iTunes. They can get a physical copy on my website, MarieMillerMusic.com, oh, yeah. or Amazon. Um, yeah, it's on Spotify, Apple Music, all over that's the place. That's awesome. Yeah, Lots I like YouTube again, videos. The, oh, good. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's great. But physical copies, again, like getting back to that, being get able one, to guys. hold something. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. that'd be amazing. Uh, so anyway, I want to thank you so much for watching all these videos with us. I hope you had fun. I think I you're did. an official sugar cube now. <laughs> that's what we call our wonderful viewers at home, our oh, sugar cubes. <laughs> But uh, we, would you would you honor us with one of your songs? We'd yes, love to hear one. Yeah, yeah, I would love to play a song. Yay, I'm yeah. so excited. Um, yeah. And, and which one is this? This one is called This Side of Paradise. Oh, perfect.
well, thank you. So, it's very okay. transportive. Like I want to, I want to get in a car and, and go away. Cool. I want to run away and go to the beach. <laughs> That's what I want to do right now. That was amazing. Everybody is loving it at home. Anne O'Brien says good job. Uh, Denise Jacques says awesome. Aww. Carrie Ann just says wow. Just wow. <laughs> and everyone's very glad that you're you're an official sugar cube. Cynthia Peak says, yes, make her a sugar cube. It's great to be here, guys. So yeah, glad. this is amazing. This is so much fun. Uh, yeah, and everyone, yeah, they're just loving it. So many hearts rolling in. It's great. Uh, well, thank you so much thank for you. being here. Thank this you for having so me. Special. Yeah, of course. We hope you come back one day, and we wish you all the best of luck with Letter. But I think it's gonna it's gonna do great. Oh, it's gonna thank be awesome. You. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. We are gonna catch up on your prayer jar tomorrow, so be sure to leave your requests in the comments, and I'm gonna update them then. But we love you guys so much. I uh, will see you tomorrow at 10 a.m. And remember, do good, be good.